What's going on guys, the Inhuman Beat and I'm back with more Marvel Avengers Alliance. Welcome to a brand new episode of Nerfs and Updates. This time we'll be focusing on the updates that came with the new Covert Ops that I don't know the name of because it didn't start for me. Let me explain that for a second before we actually get into the Nerfs and Updates. Uh, the Shayna, Shauna, Shayna, whatever, Covert Ops is out right now, but it will only unlock if you have not done your daily roulette yet which I'm pretty sure a bunch of you have, but for those who haven't, it'll unlock the moment the roulette is done. That being said, I don't see this as a real problem, it just means you'll get it tomorrow. Ooh, food. Anyways. Sorry guys, it's pizza, that's what, that'll be all. <laughs> no luck trying, pizza. <laughs> but anyways, so yeah. The Covert Ops uh, task list is also out, I'll be putting a link to it in the description. So be sure to actually check the description. You're not going to. What am I talking about? Anyways, so you can go ahead and preemptively farm for the things that you're going to need today. And wait tomorrow for when the covert task actually starts. And you won't have to waste any time then. That being said, let's actually move into the updates and nerfs. So apparently, just off the bat, new weapons were added to the store. From what I can see, I see a bunch of old weapons. The Shiv, uh, the Enchanted Crowbar... Let's go have a look at these quickly. Also, the Adelan set is now on sale. New simulator mission that goes along with the Shauna Covert Ops. But let's have a look here. SO8 Loaded Shatter Gun, Inhibitor Dart, Cat's Claw, Hex Wand, Iron Star, Taste of Thunder, the Enchanted Crowbar. Yeah, these are all the old weapons that they used to have up for gold. It's good to see that they're actually back at discounted prices. Witch Hunter, Traumatic Post, and now I'm back into the regular ones. Chrono Overdrive, Circuit Breaker, yeah. Well, it's good to see that some new weapons were added. They're old weapons, but you know, people could always still use them. Inhibitor Dark Gun, that's pretty cool. Anyways, now let's get on to the nerfs and updates. So. As I just stated, the Covert Ops for Shauna, Shayna, Shauna, is here. And there were also some fixes. Uh, some counter, apparently some counters have a hard, have a hard limit to the number of times they can trigger in a round. This is to fix, uh, to fix the problem of a growing concern with counters getting out of hand and taking the control away from the player. Uh, for those of you who have seen the videos online, there's been a few of Union Jack and Rocket Raccoon and their infinite counter just completely wasting a team. Apparently this is now so where they can only counter so many times before they stop indefinitely. Obviously to fix that problem. Emma Frost will not properly use the correct counter against an opponent with mental anguish, mental scarring, or immune to psychic attacks. Uh, my basic guess is that her standard counter attack is her psychic ability. So for those who already have mental scarring, which means they can't be affected by mental, uh, which means they can't be affected by mental trauma, I'm gonna assume she probably uses her diamond mode. Since, well, her other ability is also a psychic attack and wouldn't work on non-psychic characters. Uh, the extra turn granted to Amazing Spider-Man's Web Slinger passive can now stack with the extra turn granted by Spider-Sense, but can only be used once per turn makes sense. Uh, fixed an issue that caused Anti-Venom to not attack the intended target when paired with Agent Venom. Apparently Agent Venom's uh, habits were catching on to Anti-Venom. Fixed an issue that was preventing Roar of the Panther and Fang of the Panther from not being applied by Vibranium Daggers and Panther Stance respectively thanks to the flashing Empowered ISO-8. Or Empowered ISO, yeah. Uh, fixed an AI issue with the Living Pharaoh, only using Absorb Energy in Season 2, Chapter 2, Mission 1 boss fight. Uh, the Rafshank and Combo Breaker will now properly show the enemy being interrupted and not cowering. Trigger Happy and Racket Raccoon no longer triggers on secondary attacks from gear and abilities like the Rocket Pistol or Army of One. Again, probably to stop him from just completely raping the entire land. Deadpool no longer attacks himself in the Cable and Deadpool Heroic Mission, Season 2, Chapter 1, Mission 6. I never really noticed that, but, eh. 
Hit me no longer stacks infinitely in Season 2, Chapter 1, Mission 5, Heroic Mission. Ah, uh, but I wanted to do like one gazillion trillion damage. The Asgardian tanker no longer gives competence to all allies when used. Instead, it now applies Agar's finest, granting competence to all allied warriors of three. I don't know what competence does. Let's actually check that. I think that's the thing that gives them their bonus. Let's go find out gear. My tanker should be around here somewhere. Wait for it all to load. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this. Sonic, so there it is. Covenants grants the target their class buff has no effect on generalists. Okay, yes, that's what it is. Raise a glass. Elixir. Okay. Agent or anti venom now on the team page is now correctly tiled as original anti venom. There's different anti venoms. Fixed an AI issue with the vision not switching classes properly. Fixed an issue with Sophodotic regeneration not working as intended in Season 2, Chapter 1, Mission 4, Boss Fight with Doc Ock. Fixed an issue with Mystique using her original moveset while shapeshifted in Season 2, Chapter 1, Mission 3, Heroic Battle. And fixed an issue that caused a CVE, or a Combat Validation Error, in the Rogue and Gambit Heroic Battle in Season 2, Chapter 1, Mission 1. Yeah, I think I had that a couple times. After a while, I got both in Powered Isolate, so I no longer need to go there anymore. I remember you were uh, you were actually trying to grind up for the Empowered Isolate. The fight kept crashing. Yeah, it sucked. Corrected a display issue with the Thunderstrike not displaying Thunderwatch correctly. Fixed an issue with Ultron Prime and Mephisto not being KO'd while depowered. Mephisto doesn't get doesn't get KO'd. He just leaves. Or is there a way to kill him? I don't actually know. Pandrel now likes to swing in and drop a chandelier when called in by a distress call. Meaning that now he switches to his final skill when uh being called by a distress call. And I guess that's it for uh this edition of updates and nerfs so yeah if the covert ops hasn't started for you just wait till tomorrow look at the guide list go to chapter five get what you need you'll be all set so until then guys i'll catch you all later